Zoomers! What's good, everybody? We got some more Monster Rancher action for you today. Battle League Season 2, Week 25B. My headset's too loud. Give me a sec to adjust this. There we go. Probably sound a little better. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. My camera's all goofy. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just sitting further back or further down or whatever. I don't know. Camera's in the right spot, so it's got to be me that there's an issue with. Hope you guys are having a good day. We're not doing a double header today. I was debating it, I got it all ready, but I don't wanna do it. So tomorrow we're gonna do uh, week 25C and it's gonna lead into the Switchport Battle League. So you guys will get a double header there. Monster Fenric, thank Welcome you. Welcome to the hashtag AMA smiley face. I like how the smiley face is a monkey, that's good. Thank you Fenric, appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we're not doing double header today. This is the only guy we're doing today, but tomorrow we got one and it's gonna go 
directly into the Switchport Battle League hosted on Macho Cheese's channel. So you guys will get a double header tomorrow. Just you'll have to swap channels halfway through and we'll be raiding him. So that's not really going to be an issue. That does mean tomorrow we're going to be starting a little bit earlier. We'll be starting at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Was yesterday a doubleheader? No, I haven't done any doubleheaders this week. I, I never intended to do them, but last week I ended up doing one because it was... Um, I ended up getting called in last minute and had to do a thing. But this week I'm, I'm free. I don't have anything tomorrow. So we're just going to do that. Um, so yeah, let's get to this. Uh, Daddy Lasso, I mean... We all know him. He's been in rank A for quite a while now. This is actually his 10th week fighting, meaning um, he will not get another chance to fight. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. He will not be participating in the last chance qualifier if he does not actually win today. So that's going to be pretty bad for him. Finally get some good sleep. Yes, but I still woke up groggy as hell. I just... Too much. Too much work. But yeah, so that's unfortunate for Daddy Lasso. Uh, Daddy Lasso lost a couple of weeks because um, there was a couple of tournaments in a row where I needed him. And he, like, just was not available. Uh, Ren hadn't made him, which is unfortunate because the penalty for not having a monster ready on time... A couple of monsters have been uh, privy to this. Privy is the wrong word. Privy makes it sound like it's a bonus, but uh, have been subject to it, I should say is a two-week penalty. So your monster has a two weeks. And there was a couple of weeks in a row where Daddy Lasso was supposed to fight, and normally I'm really lenient, but I was just like, look, like, come on, we gotta get this done. So it's very unfortunate, but this is Daddy Lasso's last week, so I'm hoping he advances today, because Daddy Lasso is a great monster. Uh, Oakley Man's mom, we've seen fight a couple of times. Yucky Gumbo, Macho's monster, the big nukin uh, arrowhead, fan favorite. Slaw. Uh, brand new to rank A, we have not seen him yet. Uh, Jim Crackle, we've seen a couple times, pretty standard um, ape build. And Mochi, also new to rank A. So two brand new monsters today, the first time fighting in rank A. So let's get going. We got Daddy Lasso, we got Mochi. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two? Wow, so Mochi went full mixed attacker build too. I like that. He went with the 700 life. We got two monsters with 700 life. You saw Ayukane. He's like, you know what? That worked. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to turn off that light behind me though. Everybody in chat, how's the mic sound? Is it too quiet? Is it uh, too loud? Is it too muffled? Whatever, let me know. I had to adjust some settings today, but I haven't listened since I made it live. So, hold on, if I just check my mic right now. Hey, hey, mic check one, two. I think it sounds okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. What if I do this? It's a little bit more low end. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. I also have a toque on, so you guys call it a beanie because you're fucking weird. But that's kind of muffling the sound. Anyway, huge opener there. Gets him with a thrust. Hits him right in the bean bags. What you went for the thrust line and then one attack in each slot. Interesting. The roll assault kills at 47. That's a nice crit. That's a nice crit. Ooh, Roll Salt lands again, another 226 damage. Frost Smash at 89. That's an instant kill, the Mochi gets the grit. Mochi still got a shot here. Ross smash at 85 again. Damn, Mochi. Why you got no speed? Damn, Daddy Lasso. Why is your mom letting you get two brow smashes? Game three. Daddy Lasso has opened every match with brow smash. It's been working. 
We're doing double health. We have, are not doing double trouble today. Not today. We're going to do one tomorrow, and it's going to lead into the Monster Rancher Battle League, or the Switchport Battle League. He's got the anger. You got the thrust. Bow, bow. Oh, he misses at 60% day loss, so get out of the way of that one. Gets him with the kick. The kick's so hard it explodes his boot. His feet are too damn big for his boots. Okay. For his dang boots. Let me move my schedule over. Hey, okay, Dailasa wins game number one. Numero uno. Or, sorry, match one. That was a 2 1. Next up, we got Oakley Man's mom. That's the wrong monster. I think, is it this one? It's this one. I put the wrong monster in slot two. That's okay. Ah, I fucked up. Okay, I gotta find Oakley Man's mom. That's twice in a row I did that. I did it yesterday too. Too many memory cards, man. There we go. Double Dare, let's get to slime. And I never watched Double Dare growing up. I got Binders, I can settler. Binders full of women. Binders full of pixies. Oakley Man's mom. Technically a woman, I suppose. And Jim Crackle. Less of a woman, I suppose. Okay, Daddy Lasso wins game one. Got Oak Mom and Jimmy. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like out of these two? And Jimabel. It's a beautiful name. It's a family name. Hey, Snake, how you doing? Okay, Oakley Man's mom, Jim Crackle. Here we go. Rolls up to 62%. He opens with it. That's a one-hit kill. Jesus. Three seconds. Uh, you know what, Macho? This might be Yucky Gumbo's day. This might be his day. You got the Gabagoons interested in monster... What does that even mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> Like your friends? You can call your friends the Gabba Goons. Got him with the big old Schlapperoonie. Oakley Man's mom is big angry. Acid spit at 61. That one misses. Oakley Man's mom still has anger though. And he's going to get bonked on the head for having anger. They stream Monster Rancher 2 a lot on Switch. That's a lie. Because nobody streams this game a lot on Twitch except for me. And that's not me trying to be like, I'm the only one. That's me being extremely disappointed. I'm checking all the time to see who's streaming. Always looking for people to raid. It's very unfortunate. That's cool, though. I'll have to check them out sometime. You'd be streaming this game like, you don't fucking stream this game, macho. It's like, the, it's like that Travolta meme. I'm just like, huh? Where is it? Yucky Gumbo and Slaw. Jimmy wins that one real quick. Gumbo and Slaw. Ooh, we got an entire combo meal. Here you go. A little southern cooking. Not four times, I guess, yeah. Okay. So Slob going full glass cannon build. Basically, you know, it's the same build as, uh, what's his name? Mace Wind Dude. Except I think Slaw's got a little bit more damage under the hood, so. And Nap. Oh, it's got Nap. Oh, no. 
Hits the Cacophony, 400 damage. Gumbo not happy about that, but he doesn't get angry. He's just like, I'm nuts. Not a fan. Long Punch. Push your back, son. If Slog goes into the far range, it can use Nap. Even though it doesn't have 45 Guts. It did have 45 Guts at that moment, but, you know. It can technically use it with less. Somersault, 64%. That misses. Yucky Gumbo still has the one-hit kill potential here. Crit, Somersault, and Meteor Raw will kill in one hit. Long Punch, not so much. Dust Cloud, 99. Probably not enough to kill. Definitely not enough to kill. And he's got Anger now. Meteor, 57%. It's going to miss. That's unfortunate. Ooh, will Yucky Gumbo get another chance to attack? Cacophony's going to kill, so he will not. We have never had a Baku in rank S, so that would be fun. I'm liking the one he kills, I'm not gonna lie. Makes for an interesting day. Makes for a very quick day. Another cacophony opener. A little bit of damage, a little bit of withering. As long as Yucky Gumbo's alive, he can fire off those meteors. You need to kill him. Or you have 57% chance to lose instantly. And that's what we saw happen there. Yucky Gumbo with the 2-1. Two, two meteors, all it took. Arguably the f hardest monster for him to beat in the tournament. He just beat. So, this may be Gumbo's day. I'm not JP, so if he doesn't win, it's not because I jinxed him. Don't be pretending I jinxed him. I don't got that JP voodoo. That's not me. Not Oakmom. Uh, Oakmom's got 400 speed, bro. Does a lot of withering, but I mean, it's still one hit kill, right? I guess Oakmom can survive. Um, so I guess technically he's got a shot. Oakmom's withering is going to be really hard for Yucky Gumbo to deal with. And a few other monsters. Mochi may struggle too. We'll see. Next up, Daddy Lasso. Acid Spit Hoits. It does Hoit. Okay. We got a Dapper Man. And we got an Ape. An Unruly Ape. Her not having regular spit is nice. Yeah, no frame ones for you. You don't have to worry about that frame one. Okay, Daddy and Jim. Prediction is live. Daddy Lasso is actually probably going to be the hardest monster. Uh, because he's got enough damage output that he can kill Yucky Gumbo in one hit. On a crit uh, Brow Smash. And he's definitely not going to miss it. So That's going to be tough. Jim Crackle also has high damage output, but the low speed may hurt him against uh, Yucky Gumbo. The thing is, Yucky Gumbo has the potential to beat anybody, but he's definitely like a dark horse in this match. I think he starts in slot three. I don't think he's going to get a frame one, but, um, you know, you can back up. Brow hit, big damage there. So that was anger. So that was 60 guts. Heavy kick at 54%. Boots him. It's enough. 400 damage. Jim Crackle down. I just punched my microphone. I apologize for that. If you guys heard a big thump sound. Okay. Here we go. Black at 51. Daddy Lasso down below half health already. That was the brow hit. Ooh, that's pretty big. Slap misses. 
It's a heavy kick. Heavy kick misses as well. Grab hit at 56. Can't land that one. Both monsters in trouble here. Slap. This can kill, but it misses. Jim Crock can still attack. Still got about 50% chance on Thwack. He goes for it. He hits. 255 damage. Jim Crackle takes game number two. Seen a lot of two ones, but this has been going by pretty quickly. Grab throw opener hits at 38%. By the ankles. You know how strong you'd have to be to pick up another person like by the ankles? And like have them not like flop over? Like one of those dolls where you press the button on the bottom and they like topple? To like have them like have enough strength to like stay up that's terrifying power this is the kick it's a big flick just has sick core man man's been working out he can do 300 crunches brass smash miss at 50 Jim Crackle's in the lead, and he's got a Guts lead. He can swing long before Daddy Lasso can. Another heavy kick that's going to land. Oh, no. Jim Crackle, you got a shot at it. Grab throw 45%. He hits it. Oh, my God. Jim Crackle's going to win. Oh, man. Daddy Lasso gets up like, I ain't even hoit. I ain't even hoit. But he's dead. Yeah, see? Can't kill me that easily, see? Weird as bow tie. Poor guy. Grabbed and thrown twice. Ragdolled. Next up, we got Oakley Mom. And we got. Who do we got? Sloth? Why I oughta. Okay, Jim gets the win there. Good for Jim. Oak Mom and Slaw. So Jim's up 2-0. Oh. Prediction for this is live. Make your bets. Good start for the monkey. Both Oak Mom and Slaw have lost their first match, so... You know, at least one of them gets a win out of this. The others are going to fall a little bit further behind. Cyclone opener, that's a kill. Oh, but the grit. But the grit. Oak mom. Gonna get dusted. Get dusted, kid. Didn't do any damage, though. Do we see a nap? Nap back to full health? You can only grit once. But Slaw does have potential to have a lot of health here. Hypnotism? Hypnotism is actually really good in hard mode. I love hypnotism in hard mode. I think it's unironically one of Baku's best techs. Big damage on the two roars. Another Dust Cloud. Misses another 85. Oh my god. Oak Mom doing its best to just be a bastard. Hypnotism at 74 hits, though. That's going to KO. 226 damage. Slaw with the extremely long grit comeback. That was almost a five second match that Slaw turned around. Both building up guts. Acid Spit and Dust Cloud. A little bit of an incongruency there on the damage output. I cannot believe that move missed again. Slaw not missing anything other than Dust Cloud. Ooh, Cyclone missed at 55. Unfortunate for Oak Mom. It's another two roars. No crits, though. Minus 14 guts. And there's the anger. Another Cyclone. Oh, that's unfortunate. One in four. Or one in three. As Slaw picks up that victory. 2-0. And our final match of round number two. 
We've got Yucky Gumbo. And we got Mochi. Mochi's got no speed. So, you know, you know what that means. Neither of these monsters have any speed. This is the same build on both sides, except one of these monsters has a huge nuke and the other does not. That's not going your way right now? Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. I haven't been betting lately. I haven't, I don't even have my phone on watching this stream. Maybe I should do that just to pick up some points. Prediction is live for this, by the way. Let me get some points so I can bet. I'm betting big. And by big, I mean a little bit. I'm betting a little bit. I think Gumbo's got it, but I bet on Mochi just to make it interesting. Because I got points, and I have nothing to spend them on. Roll Assault 99%. Okay, opener from Mochi. Doesn't do a ton of damage. Procs Anger. Just kind of a worst case scenario, all things considered. Somersault has a high chance to crit. Doesn't crit, but that's a decent amount of withering. Anger, again... Best case scenario for both monsters. Meteor can kill right here. 568. There's the grit. Mochi's got a 10 guts lead, so he will be able to attack first, but nothing he has can kill from this range. Maybe press? Maybe a crit press can kill. He can do 500 damage. Mochi's guts rate is much faster than mustard arrows, but uh, I think Yucky Gumbo's going to get a chance to attack before it dies. Oh, yeah. Okay, not even close. Wow. Long punch. He uses his accurate tech to finish the monster off, even though, you know, he only got one life. It has no speed. Still playing like a champion, you know? Long punch. A little bit of damage there. Angry right away. One, two, thrust. This is going to do a lot of withering. Minus 33. There's fury, but it's not going to matter. Mochi's just going to attack again. And Yucky Gumbo will once again not get a chance to attack. Mochi with the big withering. Roll Assault has a chance to kill here. As does Press. Roll Attack not so much. I think with a crit it still can though. And that's what we get. We get a crit. So we got a game three. Rocking anger on Mochi in this matchup is terrible for Yucky Gumbo. Hits the long punch, gets the anger right away. Exactly what I said was bad. Look how much withering this does. That's 25 on that move. That's terrible. That's so hard to come back from. Another 16 down. Gets Fury, which is arguably worse than just having anger there. Because Yucky Gumbo is so far away from 45 guts. Another thrust. More withering. Another 13 guts down. Yucky Gumbo is getting close to being able to attack, but he's getting locked out hard. Meteor, he's got it. Roll attack. Does it kill? Does not kill. Yucky Gumbo's got enough guts. He's got Meteor. He's standing in range. He can make it happen. But instead, he's going to do nothing. Do we see a grit, though? We do see a grit. Okay, eight seconds left on the clock. Yucky Gumbo's got enough guts to attack. Mochi will probably get one more shot at it, too. Yucky needs to attack first. Somersault with a huge guts lead. Crit may kill. Crit would not have killed. Mochi wins. That's a 2-0 for Mochi. That one was the long con. You guys all bet on Gumbo. Saying that Mochi was going to be an easy match for it. I played you guys. Dude, you know how much fucking withering Mochi does in anger? That shit is insane. It's so hard for a narrowhead to deal with it. Did I say 2-0? It was 2-1. I wrote down 2-1. Okay, and Slaw gets a win here. So, after two rounds, we got one monster with the 2-0 record. That's Jim Crackle. Everyone else at 1-1. One one. Oakley Man's Mom at 0-2.
You're so worried about Meteor? I mean... You're right to be worried about it. It's, it's an instant kill move. But I was looking at the 1-2 thrust. I was looking at the anger, and I'm like... This is what's gonna win it. Mantra not letting any wins escape. It's going to matter, though. That's the thing, right? It always comes down to a tiebreaker. So he was right to be on me about that. I did write down the right number originally, though. I think I just misspoke. And here we go. Daddy Lasso. And Slaw. Prediction is live. Especially in the smaller brackets. Especially in the smaller brackets. There's always going to be ties. Holy fuck. We got 10k? Okay. Fine. You want to be that way? I'm going to make it interesting. There we go. There we go. What's the point of me having points if I can't just blow them on dumb bets? Dag Lasso and Slaw. This is a 20,000 bet game. This shit is nuts. We had like, what, 2,000 on the last one? And that one was pretty high by recent standards. This is the highest bet we've had in quite a while. Oh, Cacophony misses at 46. I'm pretty sure Daddy Lasso jumped back into that. It really looked like it hit, but you know. We'll need an instant replay on that one. Heavy Kick misses a third time. Hypnotism at 58. It hits. Didn't even crit. Still killed 330. I'm telling you, if you're raising intelligence, Baku, Hypnotism is a necessary pickup. Moves great. It's fantastic now. It's a little bit more expensive than it used to be, but... It's a good move. What's that? Oh, my dog's yelling at me. Bacon, come here. You want to come say hi? I got a lot of money on this one, Bacon. I need your good luck. Oh, you know what? I just won. Okay, I didn't yet. Okay, he's running away. Looks like it does less withering. Yeah, it's more damage based than it used to be. Brow hit. 43. Daddy Lasso cannot land a hit on Slaw. Not his day. Another cacophony. This one misses. And another. There goes all of Slaw's guts. This is Comeback City for Daddy Lasso. This is one hit kill potential. 40% on Brow Smash. He can do it. Heavy kick at 40. It's going to land. That's a kill. 800 damage on the crit. Daddy Lasso brings it back. You heard the barking and got scared. I don't have any sound coming out of my computer. But that, you know. I should have just gone along with that. MK36 misses. Another cacophony miss. 50% not enough to hit Daddy Lasso. Daddy has been relying on these heavy kicks. Oh, the dust cloud miss? Another one. Daddy still got enough guts to attack. They both have 50 guts, though. Hypnotism misses. Daddy with a 30 guts lead brow smash, 40% that whiffs. God damn. Neither monster can hit each other. Brow smash 34. It hits. It kills. And that's a KO. So that's a lot of money to people who bet on Daddy. Actually, no, for the most part, it's not. It's only to one guy. The rest of you are not getting much at all. Okay, so 2-1. Daddy Lasso. Next up. 0-4 oh, on these. Brother, it makes you feel any better. I literally just lost 9,000 points, so... Don't fret. You too can easily get back to 10k consistently like I have been, and then I just blow it on one 
and I completely fucked the whole thing up. This is what I've been doing. Oak Mom and Yucky Gumbo. Okay. I believe. I'm going all in. That's all I got left. There you go. I believe in the yuck. Five seconds left. Get those bets in. Okay, here we go. Acid spits. That's going to be hard for Yaki Gumbo to come back from. That's a really solid opening for Oak Mom. Would be the scariest monster to encounter IRL? Death Dragon. It's a spooky skeleton. And another Acid Spit. Oak Mom now up 10 guts. Well, closer to about 6. Yaki Gumbo is still in this, though. That's the crazy part. Yucky Gumbo's got the same guts rate. Very similar. Another acid spit. Gets some three in a row. And no grit. IRL Mochi, probably Nightmare Fuel. I could see that. Something like uh, Pink Hopper would be terrifying to see in real life. Yeah, they got the same guts rate. Shockwave, much better opening for Gumbo than last time. Long punch at 81. Look at that damage. But they're in slot one. Yucky Gumbo's got to look out for the acid spit. And he's not going to. He's just going to somersault. He doesn't care. He doesn't kill, though. Oak Mom still in this. Acid spit, a good play. Goes for Shockwave. Maybe the only bad play it could make. Still decent damage there. Yucky Gumbo finally procs Anger. He's going to hit 45 around the same time as his opponent. Who's going to swing first, though? Both monsters can kill here. Long punch, Meteor. Cyclone's going to land. Yucky Gumbo just chilling on that, not doing anything. Okay, so I just lost 10,000 in two bets. Damn, Oakley Man's mom actually playing the game and Yucky Gumbo forgetting what his buttons do. Oak Mom gets the win. He loves to not attack. To be fair, they are both at 45 at the same time, so it really just came down to a coin flip on who was going to attack first. That's what happened the other two times they fought in A rank. Damn. Okay. Jim and Mochi, prediction is live. Make your bets. I think... The thing is, Yucky Gumbo has one more shot at it. If you guys... Um, did not follow the league um, or the schedule for the league rather I have set up a thing where there was three empty spots and those three spots went to the highest ranked players who did not currently have a monster in S rank and so that was Great Golem with El Espanto, uh, Macho with Yucky Gumbo and Vib Ravens with uh, Boyfriend so all of them got to fill in the three final spots of the league so we're going to see Yucky Gumbo fight again tomorrow, or not tomorrow, on Monday. And we're going to see, um, what's his name? I forget his name. We're going to see a boyfriend fight on Monday as well. How many slaps in a row can we get? We also miss at 68. Grab throw 93. Give him the big dunk. Oh, she's angry. He's got a lot of guts. He makes something happen. Thrust's not going to do a lot of damage, but it is going to stop Jim Crackle from attacking again. He's angry now. 98% on Thrust. Maybe not the best time to get angry. I understand the frustration, Jim. Don't want to get withered like that. Nobody ever wants to get withered like that, but that was the wrong time. Game two. Look at this lamb sweet ass mochi, purebred mochi in A rank. What is that? He doesn't even know he's a low tier. Nobody told him. Mm. 
Missed the thrust at 77. Not losing a lot of guts for that, though. Rolls off that 99. How much damage? Looking at 438. A little bit of withering. Mochi can still attack, though. 1 2 thrust, 83. No one told Lamb Sweet either. That's true. Lamb Sweet's just like, my stats are way higher than everyone else's. I'm now an A rank monster. Both can attack. Jim Crackle has un unpossible chance to miss. Hits the slap. Force in a game three. We got a game three. There you go. Jim Crackle and Mochi. Another roll assault. 63%. That one misses. It's kind of what Mochi does, though. It is. It has very high stats and nothing else. Grab throw, 94%. Give him a big donk. Got him. Mochi. Still has a huge guts lead, though. Can still make something happen. One, two thrusts. Pow, pow. It's a lot of guts down. It's going to hit him again. You know, one, two thrust costs 27 in vanilla. It's one of Mochi's only good techs, and it's still way too expensive for what it does. Oh, she has no Intex? Uh, yeah, I guess not. I don't know why it's got 700 intelligence and no Intex. It's a 2 1 for Jim. Jim is at 3 and 1. Or 3 and 0, oh, sorry. What a good day for the monkey. For the big brain plays, that's true. Can't make the big brain plays without 700 intelligence and 700 life. Bio really gooned out on this one. Okay, Daddy Lasso beats Slaw. Oak Mom gets its first win. And Jim stays undefeated. So Jim not... Hmm. Let me see. Is it possible for Jim to not make top four? I don't think so. There would have to be a four-way tie for top four. Or five-way tie for top four, and he would have to not have as many wins as someone else. Maybe very unlikely. It's in character for Genki. That's true. It is in character for Genki. He played the game like an ace. He just doesn't know what any monsters are. Actually, you know what? To be fair, that's... People always joke about that. They're like, oh, he's supposed to be the best player. and He doesn't know what any of these monsters are. He doesn't know what anything does. But, like, he's not actually an idiot. If you gave somebody who'd only ever played Monster Rancher 1, Monster Rancher 2, they wouldn't know what the fuck a mochi was. They don't have that knowledge going in. Okay. Daddy and Yucky. This is a big spooky one. A lot of kills coming in in this one. Did he wait for 99 guts on the one episode? He waited until there was one second left. He waited until he had as much uh, guts as possible. As time was running out. And then used bite. Or chewing. I think it, it was just eat. I think it's called eat in Monster Rancher 1. And it's called Eat in the anime as well. Yeah, Chewing in Monster Rancher 2. He does wait. He waits till time's almost up. Then swings with his big move at the end. Which is how you're supposed to play. Somersault doing big damage. Daddy Lasso gets Anger. Not a terrible time to get Anger because Yucky Gumbo does not have 45 guts. It's going to be a little while before he can get it. Brow hit 99%. Guaranteed to hit minus 15 guts. He can swing again. Anger is not going to do Yucky Gumbo any good. Heavy kick's going to land. Does he get grit though? He doesn't. Daddy Lasso wins game one. All made by Mech though. That's true. Brow smash opener. Also, yeah, they don't start in slot four, but they're like on the edge of slot three. Or they don't start in slot 3, but they're on the edge of slot 3. Brow smash with a huge guts lead. 
799 daddy lasso with the one hit kill that's a 2-0 That's the wrong file. I knew that as I was clicking it. Next up, we got Oak Mom and we got Jimmy. Daddy gets the win. Okay, yeah, prediction is live. Somersault is a hindrance. It's a hindrance when uh, you're up against a monster that can one hit kill you. That's absolutely true. Guess you haven't been having the best luck with it today. Somersaults is really good though. I think that would have worked on your build pretty well. I do think something could be said for just Long Punch and uh, Meteor. So many things you go d do different. Yeah, I feel you. Hindsight is a curse, man. You get to see all, every mistake you made. That's what you want to do? Just those two? I think that's a good play. Can't see him getting out A. You know, if he gets lucky, I think he's got a shot. He's very matchup dependent is the thing. Jim Crackle on his way to 4-0, are you serious? Is he gonna do it? Ooh, Shockwave hits 267. Not even being salty about it, just being realistic. I, yeah, I, I know what you mean. But I do think he does have a build. He can literally beat every monster. That's the thing. He has the potential. There's nothing that's like, oh, this is an unwinnable matchup. It's just that he needs to land that Meteor. It literally comes down to, does he land or Meteor or not? Foolery on that ass bit. I know, he could have done it. Did he have enough guts? Oh, hits it. Monkey didn't like that. I love how Ape's hand like teleports to his foot after he dies. It's like on the ground, and then it goes like beep. If Jim Crackle dies again, um, take a look. Next time he gets knocked out. The hand closest to the camera. Just runs up and uses it, yeah. Wait, Jim Crackle number five or number six? These two have already fought. Yeah, these two have already fought. We'll keep, uh, Jim Crackle already won this one too. Oh, he got a bunch of roll assaults. Just, whatever, we'll play it out. You guys still bet on it. It just doesn't count for anything. No. Oh. We're gonna fast forward. We're gonna fast forward. Okay, there you go. Oak Mom wins the fake one. You guys, there you go. There's some points for you. That shit doesn't count, though. It's Oak Mom and Mochi. Nobody even noticed. What is this? I had to notice. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he won with Roll Assault last time. I was getting deja vu watching it. Fast forward, one Cyclone. You demand a refund? You bet on it. The bet was real. But the match is fake. Prediction is live between Oak Mom and Mochi. That's how fast this is going. We can do an entire accidental match and we're still going to be done with much, much time to spare. Real bet for a fake match. That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> Thank you for listening. For a real fake match. Cyclone opener. Gotta put it in your own words? Okay. 
We're back in grade school, we're... You're copying my homework. The acid spit, Moshi doesn't like that. Does a little dance, and then dies. Dance to his death. He had like such like a ah shit get it off me type like reaction to that. Homework's so easy that we just write about the same thing. That's true. That's how it works. Shockwave doing damage. Oak Mom still has not taken any damage yet. Dodging everything. Doing a lot of withering. Spins on him. Puts him in the spin cycle. Get rinsed, Mochi. That's a 2-0 for the Oak Mom. Mochi's big thing is that it kind of needs a risky tech. Mochi has... If you're building a tank... Okay, so that's not even Mochi in particular. Mochi, especially in vanilla, Mochi needs to, like, do a little bit of risk um, when he's building because he doesn't have anything else. But uh, if you're building a tank, you need a nuke. You cannot build a tank with absolutely no damage output. You need to be able to control the match. You need to be able to out-damage your opponent because they're never going to miss. So even on my builds... I had two monsters make it to rank S. Or I had, two, I had uh, three monsters make it to rank S last season. Uh, everything except my intelligence-based worm made it. And then I had two of them in the top six in the Legend Cup. And... The two monsters I had in the Legend Cup were tanks. I had a tank plant pr prediction slide, by the way. Um... I had Tank Plant and I had Tank Hopper. Both of them don't do a ton of damage except for like one tech. Hopper is like a perfect example because he had a lot of really cheap shit to like take on faster monsters. But if he had to fight anyone that was also a tank and he was only running uh, his C Force and weaker techs, there's no way he would win. So having Hopper combo there is really good for that. Mochi doesn't have anything at that level, right? Mochi. Or, like, specifically Mochi, the, the monster that we're seeing fight today, not Mochi as a monster, as a breed. But Mochi doesn't have anything like that. Mochi peaks at C rank force, right? He doesn't have a giant press. He doesn't have pedal roll or anything like that to help him out. Um, and s the thing is, those moves are risky. But against someone like Oakley Mom, who doesn't have a ton of speed and does have a lot of life... Sometimes you just need to risk the big move to make it happen, you know? On my plant, I had Face Drill, which, while not a very particularly powerful tech, is just very, very good. Face Drill is, I think, one of the better techs in the game in hard mode. And it does everything, and it's very cheap. So even though it never did more than like 300, 400 damage at most, uh, if I could use it like four times in a match because it only costs 30 or whatever on a plant with anger um, And I usually had 55 to 60 percent chance to hit like that's pretty good. That may not be a one-hit kill, but that's That's game control, you know doing weathering doing consistent damage still being able to Outspeed your opponent guts wise still having a lead in guts at all times um, that's the only place where you can get away with not having like a huge nuke But you still need something that has like close to B force to make that happen so if Mochi had That this exact same build exact same stat spread, but it had Mochi Ray instead. I think um, There's a chance it would have won like every match today because Mochi Ray is not very powerful But it plays a very good control game Jim crackle So there we go. We got a game three. There you go. There's a mini rancher rundown on you for uh, competitive building. 
If you're building a tank, you need to do more damage than your opponent. It was good for Bruno too in food fight. Bruno's not a tank, but Mochi Ray is just a good move. It's probably his best move in vanilla. Even though I think it's the second weakest special attack in the entire game behind uh, Arrowheads, or sorry, behind Renacraft's um, Fist Missile, which is a special attack in name only. It only has like 18 force or something, it only costs 19. I don't know, it doesn't cost much. But yeah, Mochi Cannon only has, or sorry, Mochi Ray only has 20 force, which is like the minimum requirement to be listed as a C force tech. Fist Missile is a special attack, yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah. Okay. So we got Daddy Lasso with a win. So he's three and one. I don't think anyone's eliminated yet, though. Uh, Oakley Man's mom beats Mochi. And Slaw beats Jim Crackle. So we do have our top four. They're not guaranteed top four. We have one more round and a lot of things can change. But uh, that's what we're looking at right now. Daddy Lasso, Jim Crackle tied for first with a three and one record. And Oakley Man's mom and Slaw tied for third with a two and two record. If Mochi beats Slaw, Yaki Gumbo beats Jim Crackle, things open up completely. Uh, it becomes very hard to tell who's actually advancing. I wonder if that's a programming error, Fist Missile being a special tech. It's possible. I don't know. Remember when there was a showcase of Arrowhead specific moves on Silverface? Yeah, that was, I did that. That was pretty funny. Uh, his, his arms just keep stretching. We named him Stretch, we know. We knew going in. Ghost! Freeman gets something. Spooky. It is tis the season, you know? That's what they say. I don't think they say it about this season, but they do say it about some others. Okay. Daddy and Oakley Mom. Here we go. Corny's entered Silverface with Cyclone and Tropical Cup. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it's such a gross tech. What's funny is the first time I ever saw that. Here's the thing. People always ask me in my comments. They're like, can you just make a video that's just like all monster techs? And I've debated doing it just for like easy clickbait. But uh, I kind of don't want to go through the effort. Maybe, maybe I'll just throw together something shitty for the sake of it. With no commentary or anything. But there's a video that exists from like 10 years ago that there's like a video series where this guy is showcasing all these monster techs in like 160p and uh that's the first time i saw a cyclone on arrowhead like like back in when i was in high school when i watched it i was like oh what the fuck and then it became obvious to me that it was supposed to only exist on prior rocks oak mom with the easy win I think it's supposed to be Rock Throw. It wasn't the Pokemon move Fist Missile. Crab Hammer. Oh, Brow Smash lands. We got a game three already. Heavy Kick is going to land as well. It's not going to kill. That's quite a bit of damage. And the anger right away, angry shockwave, it's gonna do so much withering for a move that doesn't normally do withering. He's got real, real anger, wrong time to get anger, my friend. Oh my God, that is it. You've lost. Oak Mom gets the win. Yeah, people have asked me to make a lot of videos when videos already exist. 
and for the most part, I've kind of decided against it. But like, I, I think in the future I am gonna do stuff. Like, Tiach made uh, so many really good combining videos and like the math and all that stuff. And I almost don't want to do it because it's such a laborious topic to talk about. And he did such a good job. But like, I do have a very, very different style of um, video editing and content creation than they do. So I think I'm gonna do it just for the sake of it. Eventually, that's not a thing I'm gonna worry about now. But I am going to release a video on the day um, the switch port drops about how to unlock all monsters in 1 and 2. It's a thing that all you guys already know. But I mean, I think that's going to be a good thing to get people to see my channel. Getting more people into the scene is always a good thing, you know? Really good and educational be like the funny words. That's the that's the big thing, right? Is his videos are very dry. They are great if you're like, I need info. I don't give a shit about anything else. I just want a timestamp. I want to see the info. That his videos are great for that. Gumbo and Crackle. Gumbo needs this one to have a shot at top four. See, mash two monsters together, squish noise, baby comes out. Okay, that's a little bit... Is that, is that a thing you think I would put in my videos? I don't know if I'm... Uh, if I'm that basic, you know? Meteor, 70%, it lands. Big damage, but the crackle. Can't crack the crackle. Still in it. Yeah, <laughs> Gumbo's like, well, I got nothing left in the tank. What do I do now? I'm not much of a shit poster. Yeah, I'm not really. Anger, he's gonna get 45 first. Just being dumb, I feel ya. Oh, Jim Crackle's got hurry. Anything will kill on a crit. Yucky Gumbo's got enough guts to attack those somersault at 77. It misses one second left. Jim Crackle's got half a second to make something happen, and he does nothing. Yucky Gumbo wins game one. Writing jokes is really hard. Comedy is very difficult. Doesn't matter how good you are at it. It's like, it's a skill you have to hone. And I don't spend any time on like joke craft or anything like that. Angry. He's angry. Meteor would be perfect here. He's he's standing in it. The grab throw at 93% is going to do it, though. Big damage and no grit. Jim Crackle wins game number two. Yaki Gumbo just does not like to attack. He's not feeling it. Thwack at 99. Probably a decent opening for Yucky Gumbo. It's a lot of damage, but it stops him from attacking with something weak right away. Never mind, he's going to attack with Long Punch. But he's got Anger. He can make something happen. Meteor at 73. Somersault at 77. Hits the Somersault. Not going to kill. Not actually going to do a lot, much damage at all. But he still has the Guts lead. Meteor at 45 on the dot. He goes for it. It misses at 70%. Oh, no. Jim Crackle on Roll Assault. Is that going to kill? It is going to kill. Jim Crackle dodges the 70%. He attacked literally as soon as possible. But now he's going to have to wait till Monday for a shot at rank S. One more fight. We got Slaw and we got Mochi. Yeah, I've tried really hard with my videos to not be like, to not like belabor jokes and like things like that. I don't really know enough about like proper comedy writing to like avoid it all the time. But I at least try to like, for the most part, try to avoid memes and things like that. Unless I think it's like super, super funny. Like the, the Joker, like what, where did he go thing? I love that meme. That's so funny to me. But again, that's a reference, right? That's not a thing I came up with.
playing through Monster Hunter 3, I have a few questions regarding tech balance. Uh, yeah, the answer is they're not balanced. Techs are fucked up in Monster Rancher 3 and 4. Monster Rancher 1 and 2 have outliers, but Monster Rancher 3 and 4 are have so many techs that just do not make any sense numerically that they're closer to being the norm than being any sort of exception. What makes a good move in the game? Giga Shooter just feels- Giga Shooter is the best tech in the game. Easily. First time he's seen Joker and he's like, right, I'm gonna head out, man. He just dips. Back to his home planet. Oh, the fury! We got the ear flip! The fury dust cloud. Look how much damage. 300 on the crit. Double withering. Still only did 7. So a thing I'm unsure of... Um, I assume it's literally just 100% whatever the guts were. And then rounded. I think that's how it triggers the double. Same thing with power, it's like literally double whatever. And then it doesn't add like the plus or minus 10 after it adds it before. Somewhat balanced because Hanker's guts hurt, it is not balanced at all. It is not balanced at all. Giga Shooter is so fucking broken, Hanger is absolutely the best monster. Hanger is like close to Metal Nerd tier in Monster Rancher 3. He naps it off, he doesn't care. The double nap? Look at that. I don't know if uh, spending 30 guts to heal 69 life was worth it. It's the press. It is nice. But it's not worth it. Do we get power nap? Probably worse than just using hypnotism or cacophony. Roll attack 54, it misses. Slaw's still got power. Is he going to do anything? Power Cacophony could be big. Power nap? We get the power nap. Let's go, baby. 306, he's back to full health. <laughs> what the fuck? Mochi, you better not ruin this. Oh, he ruins it. Slaw, trying his best. His pacifist run did not work. He got the power nap, though. b -Clon's moves aren't good, but the gut rate is as good as Pixie. Yeah, b -Clon's one of the best monsters in MR3 as well, because of that. He's got a couple of good moves. Most of them aren't, but he's got a couple. Don't need guts rate when you can guarantee a hit on equal speed. Yeah, exactly. So I'm missing at 54%. Giga Shooter is such a Japanese name. That is such a game from the early 2000s, late 90s that we mistranslated with machine translation. It's exactly what that sounds like to me. Every early PS2 game, and every late PS1 game that was made in Japan, translated here, has some attack that sounds like that. Slaw gets the win there. So, let's actually see who's moving on. Wasn't that 1-1? One, one? No. Slaw won the first game. Okay, so Oakmom wins. Daddy Lasso wins. Uh, Mochi loses. And Jim Crackle loses, right? No, the combo loses. So we got Jim Crackle first place overall with a 4 and 1 record. Daddy Lasso Slaw tied at. Three and two. Oh, wait. All three of them are tied at three and two. So Jim Crackle first, and then we have a three way tie for second. What's the worst monster in MR3? Um, 
I don't know who the worst monster is. I know my boy Poncho is really bad. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure who the worst is. I don't know enough about Monster Rancher 3 to have, like, a list in my head like I do in Monster Rancher 2. In Monster Rancher 4, Poncho may be the absolute worst monster in the entire game. He's very bad. Uh, Daddy Lasso has how many wins? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 8, sorry. Which is the best you can do, so he's probably second. Oakley Mom has... One, two, three, four, five, six. Which is the worst you can do. Suzerain any good? I don't know. I think Suzerain's okay in three. And Slaw is number four and has how many wins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he ties Daddy Lasso. He beat Daddy Lasso. So that means it doesn't matter either way. But Jim Crackle is first, and he will be fighting Oakley Mom, who got fourth, and then Daddy and Lasso and Slaw tied for second, and they got to fight each other anyway. So that part doesn't matter too much. Okay, I am going to get some water and set up final bracket. We'll be back in just a bit. Okay, welcome back to Monster Rancher Battle League Season 2, Week 25B. It's not Week 25B. I've had it wrong the whole time. Wait, is it 25B? It's 26B, right? Yeah, it's 26B. My bad. 25B is from forever ago. So, if you <laughs> maybe I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning of the VOD being like, hey, it's wrong, uh, wrong thing. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's 26B. Anyway, here's an ape. Fighting a blob. As you do. But yeah, we got Jim Crackle first place overall fighting Oak Mom, Oakley Man's mom, who is fourth seed overall, and we got Slot in second fighting uh, Daddy Lasso, who got third. Uh, Daddy Lasso needs to win this. I don't know why he looks so blurry in my view. It's strange. 
Wait, I'm gonna try reflattening them. Yeah, there's something about it. If I uh, shrink these guys. Ah. Come on, Baku, you get in there. Yeah, he just looks really, uh... I don't know. He looks strange. I don't know why. He looks very blurry. It's probably, like, a specific amount of shrinking that has, like, caused some of the pixels to get all fucked up. Either way. There we go. For some reason, the icons I made weren't all the same size, so some compress worse than others. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I've noticed. There's a couple that are, like, a pixel or two longer than the others, but it's fine. Not a big deal. But yeah, there you go. There's the four monsters. I've noticed it occasionally, but that's the first time I've been like, oh, that's, like, actually really noticeable. That's fine, though. I think it's because Golem has a shadow on uh, the left-hand side instead of just, oops, instead of just having like a a flat black edge like a lot of the other monsters do. Jeez, mm, that took me way too long. Too many mistakes there. I'm not setting up Mochi. Relax, man. <laughs> you can wait like three seconds to see if I fix my mistake before asking. Jim and Oakley Mom, prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you like? Jim Crackle really out playing his seed today. Oak Mom barely making it into top four despite being second seed overall. We got the first two seeds in bracket once again. I think last time, yesterday, was the first time since the beginning of uh, rank A where not every uh, bracket, final bracket, had top two in it. No, wait, th yesterday did as well. Kiyaka Basso and Society were both in. And then it was Dougie and Mace Wind, dude. So yeah, this is the f no. It's not the first. I don't know what I'm talking about. Every top four has had the top two seeds in. Well, Salt hits at 61. That's a kill. Jim Crackle won this matchup really, really easily. First time they fought. Will he do it again? Grab throw 57. There's a big smoosh there. Oakley Mom shrugging it off. He's still in it. He's in it to win it. 62 on Acid Spit looking pretty good. Hits it. Jim Crackle does not like being withered. Oak Mom has a huge guts lead. Doesn't proc anger though, so no guaranteed victory for Oak Mom. Still a pretty good shot to win though. 64 again. Hits it again. Another 55 guts down. Oak Mom wins game number two. Game three. Roll salt opener lands. 425. It's enough to kill on the crit, but it did not crit. Oh, angry cyclone. Jim Crackle's gonna have a hard time coming back from that. Gets fury, which is maybe not the right play. Acid spit is really cool. Do you think it's barf? <laughs> It's just bile. It's stomach bile. I kind of think that's the implication. Because the other spit moves are like... Like Hawk and a loogie. That's absolutely barf. Okay, next up. We got Slaw and we had Daddy Lasso. Just for the sake of having a cool storyline, I will reiterate that Daddy Lasso needs to win today, 
or he will not. He is guaranteed to not make top uh, S rank. He's not. He's guaranteed to not make S rank if he does not win today, because he will have fought ten times total, and he will not get a chance to fight next Wednesday. It's pre-workout. I hit right. <laughs> Oak Mom gets the win. Slaw and Daddy. Predictions live. There you go. Make your bets. Uh, Ran is the only person here who does not have a monster in top four yet. He had one fight yesterday that got first place cursed. Today he's got Daddy Lasso. Duskcloud miss at 63%. Two roars get borked on. Daddy Lasso does not proc anger. Goes for the heavy kick. It misses though. Brow hit. Ooh. You know what? I, I just realized why Daddy Lasso's shoes explode. Why uh, Mario Max's shoes explode when he uh, goes for heavy kick. And it's because the model for Golem's feet has a, a lot of transparency on this model. His shoes are shaped like clogs. They're almost like peanut shaped. They look like Mr. Peanut. You see, they go, like, go in in the middle. Whereas on a normal Golem's feet, they're like flat rocks. So what's happening is the model is expanding and on a normal golem his foot gets really big and on this one the same thing happens except the part that's getting bigger is for the most part the transparent part. So that's why it looks like his shoe is exploding. Slaw wins game one by the way. Too much talk about feet. It's not that kind of stream. That he lost it down to half health. Gets the anger though. It's a one-hit kill. He got the <laughs> Mr. Peanut Ace got the baby nut threes exactly. Power hypnotism hurt. That kick hurt. Another heavy kick. He just wants to use the boot. He's trying to use it as many times as possible so I can illustrate the point I was making. Ooh. He's angry. Dust Cloud misses. Another heavy kick, 38. Just using the boot, not working. Cacophony. Daddy also has been dodging that move today like a champ. Constantly. Heavy kick at 40. He wants the boot. He's trying. He's trying. You can't get mad at him. He's doing his best. Dust Cloud hits at 67. Another one will do it. He goes for it. 200. He crits. That's it. Slaw is moving up to winner's finals. So Slaw gets that win. Daddy doing his best, but just could not hit any of those 40s. So we got Jimmy... Jim Crackle, and Daddy Lasso. In a must-win situation for Daddy Lasso, Jim can lose this one and still fight in the last chance qualifier. Daddy, not so much. So prediction is live. It all comes down to this. He put up a good showing in his last tournament, but is he done yet? Is it over? Is Jimmy about to get cracked? And you do care. Oh, shit. Daddy Lasso cares. Stardust, probably. That is a thing he would say. Okay, Jim Crackle, Daddy Lasso. Here you go. Bro, hit 58. Good opener. Misses anyway, though. Jim Crackle. 47% of roll salt. Goes for it. It misses. Daddy Lasso able to attack again.
Brow hit at 60. Brow smash at 50 50. Real scary. Ooh, it's going to be even higher now because of that miss. Brow smash 55%. It misses. He still has the guts lead. Much faster guts rate than Jim Crackle. Not a thing you can say often about a golem. Mario Max is the fastest golem tied with Astro in hard mode. Jim Crackle is one of the faster apes, but you know, it's not saying much. Black misses. Daddy Lasso in a good spot here. Heavy kick at 52%. 51. Goes for it. It's going to miss. Jim Crackle can still win this. Big ol' crit. Not from Thwack. Crit grab throw, crit roll assault. He can do it, but he decides not to attack at all. Daddy Lasso remains unscathed. Game two. Here you go. Brow smash, big damage. Black lands. That's pretty big. Brow smash. Ooh. Daddy Lasso is going to take it. That's a 2 0. It's the Brow smash finally. Daddy Lasso's dreams are still alive. As are. Jim Crackles, just not today. So, we're on to our best of fives. We got Oak Mother, Oakley Man's mom, and we got Slaw in this best of five. This is winner's finals. Winner of this moves on to Grands. Matt Moore gets a duckin'. Did you already have a duckin', Matt Moore? I think you did. Fly together, brother. Oakley Man's mom and Slaw prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two? Two predominantly power monsters with their intelligence builds. Quack is such a good animal noise. It's like a top three animal noise, guaranteed. Top three? I would say goat is number three. Duck is number two. Crick Tune is number one. That's my top three. Acid spit missing at 45. Ooh, with the big roar. Oh, hits the cacophony. Early lead for Slaw. Oakley Man's mom gets the grit. So it's not over. Slaw's got no life. At max life, he's still got no life. Dust Cloud 82%. Finally hits that move. Oakley Man's mom was dodging it constantly in the round robin. Slaw up one game. It's the Cyclone, that's a one-hit kill. We got a game three coming up. <laughs> Barely enough. Okuman's mom goes up 2-1. Game four. Thought about in Baku a decent amount. Do you think there's any merit in running Roar and Cacophony instead of two Roars in Cacophony? Uh, isn't Cacophony a special tech? I don't... Or is, it, is Cacophony still sharp? Anyway, we're going to start uh, round four. Hits it again. Damn, three Cyclones. Three strikes and you're out, brother? That's it? 
Loses like that. Yeah, million roars is special, so you can't... You have to get two roars. You can never not get two roars. Exact damage. <sighs> wow. Okay, so Oakmom moving on. Slaw has to fight Daddy Lasso now. So that means at least one of our top two is in top two. If Daddy Lasso wins this, it means one of our top two is guaranteed a spot in S rank. This is with tech oh with tech deletion in mind. Yeah, I think you could probably do that. Have one that's a little bit more accurate and like less um less costly to miss. And then have uh one that's just like your nuke. I think that makes sense. That's pretty common. A slot and daddy again. We just saw this. If I feel like we just just saw this. Oak Mom won that match so quickly. JP rolls another hair. Got a hair yesterday. Gets a hair today. Got about five seconds left. Get your bets in. Heavy kick. Misses a 36%. Ooh, Dust Cloud. Cross Smash at 33%. Not landing anything. Darkest Tempest rolls something. What's he got? He gets a Jill. Pushes him away into the two roars that he lost, so he gets borked at again. Yeah, I don't know what I would call Baku's best um, intelligence loadout in hard mode. I feel like I'd be a little bit um, full of shit if I pretended like I knew the exact best loadout. Like, nobody runs a mating song. I don't know if mating song is any good or not. I think uh, Roar, Cacophony... No... Uh, I think Dust Cloud doesn't do enough damage. I think it only costs 10, right? So it's whatever. It's, it's fine for Grit, but I think you'll lose a lot of games because of Dust Cloud. I think Hypnotism is a necessary pickup. Mating Song could be interesting. Um, sneeze is covered up by other stuff that is better, so... Sneeze is slot 2, right? If Sneeze is slot 3, you might... No, you know what? It doesn't do enough damage. I wouldn't get it anyway. Yeah, speaking of grit, there you go. As I'm saying it, I cursed him. Sneeze a slot too. Yeah, okay, so. You wouldn't get it. Dust Cloud miss at 65%. Brow hit 44. Ooh, that's big damage. Slot still in it, has power. Everything will kill. Everything would already kill, but you know. He could power nap just to style on him. Power cacophony. You didn't need to do that, brother. 800 damage. Slot up 2-1. Daddy Lasso, do or die, needs two wins in a row here. Ooh, this is the Brow Smash. I think it's 2-1. It's 2-1, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Dust Cloud hits. Two Roars hits. Is it enough? 457 damage. Damn. Does strength of ending blow affect chances of opponent with grit? Uh, no. But your opponent's defense and how much guts they have left when they die do. So if you do a move that does a lot of withering... Um, you know what? I actually don't know if the, the guts part is factored in before you die or after you get hit. So it's possible that the withering doesn't matter. Okay, I think that's 3-1. Does uh, somebody know otherwise? I'm double guessing myself, but I'm pretty sure. That's 3 1. I'm just going to check the VOD real quick. While we're here. Might as well. It was 3 1. Okay. Ooh. 
Uno Memento. Just checking real, real quick, because I can. Uh, Twitch VODs are so slow sometimes. It's law one game one, right? That's all I need to check. Yeah, slaw one game one. So unfortunately, that's it for Daddy Lasso's run. He is going to finish one of the best possible monsters in rank A, but he is not going to advance to rank S. And that means we got Oak Mom and Slaw. Oak Mom will be the second Gabu in rank S. Baku will be the first Baku in rank S ever this season or last season. So here we go. One minute prediction on this one. It is grand finals. This is the end. Pretty short stream today, but definitely not going to go until midnight. I'm not going to do another one. We'll just do shorter streams until we're in uh, rank S. And then the way we're going to do rank S is I'm going to do two brackets per day every time I stream, except they're going to be actual brackets. They're not going to be round robins. It's going to be an eight man bracket. We'll do that and we'll do two of them a day. Top two monsters move on each time. So we'll have two days, four monsters advance. And then on the last day, on the third day of the week, we will have um, whatever. We'll have the that top eight bracket. I'm, I'm going to do double limb for all of them. Uh, you know what? Let me count to see how many matches it is. Double limb should still be pretty quick, though. Okay, here we go. Grand finals. One of these monsters moves on to S rank. One of them will have to rely on the last chance qualifier. Slaw. Along with Dougie, the only other monster who, on its first week in rank A, has a shot at advancing. Ultraman's mom has been here before. Dust Cloud. Cyclone hits at 53. Damn. Just like that? That's two games. That's two games already. We got one more to go. This could be it. Oakley Man's mom needs to hit one more Cyclone to advance to rank S. That's what it comes down to. 50-50. Missed a lot of them early on. It's landing all of them now. Asus Pit 45, also a really good option here. Dust Cloud lands, tiny bit of damage. Prox Anger, just an absolutely abysmal situation for Slaw to be in. He hits another Dust Cloud. Ooh, but the Acid Spit misses. And that could kill it doesn't crit though okaman's mom has a 10 guts lead slaw will catch up but the one hit kill potential of cyclone is still there shockwave not going to do it probably a wrong play a little bit of damage but now slaw is able to attack dust cloud 83 percent will guarantee the kill hits the two or 68 percent slaw stops it from being a 3-0 Rip Lasso, he lost me all the money, but still sad to see you go. I feel that. It's always sad when a monster, you know, a monster's not advancing. When that's the end of the road for them. That was like Quill Bill last season. Quill Bill always had a really good ranking in C rank, so he got to fight quite a few times. And with much fewer monsters, there's only like 63 monsters last season or something. A lot more monsters uh, got closer to the 10 mark. But Quillbill was the first monster to hit 10, and he made it to rank B. He had one shot, or two weeks in rank B, and he lost. And Oakley Man's mom beat Slaw, kind of unceremoniously, 3-1. That's it. It moves on. Slaw gets second overall, but does not advance to S rank today. We'll have to rely on the last chance qualifier. So, let's take a look at Bracket. See how we got here, and we'll play a song of my people. 
JP Mockman gets another Mochi. Okay. Okay, so congratulations to Pile of Cats. Uh, Iocane moved on last week. We have Okuman's mom this week. You got two monsters in rank S. Society will have to, still has a shot in the last chance qualifier, but will not be fighting again before then. Uh, sad to see Daddy Lasso go this way, but he was a hell of a monster. One of the highest ranked monsters in rank A. Probably gonna end up being the highest ranked monster overall in rank A um, after everything. Um, so he just narrowly missed the mark. Kageyaka Basso still has a shot, so Ron still has a chance to have a monster in S rank. I think if you watched Kog yesterday, you know that he's a threat. Uh, he gets to fight one more time before having a shot at last chance qualifier as well. So, you know, there's still hope for a lot of people. Um, okay, yeah. That was a fun day. It was very short. 